what I have here is the hierarchy as I've set it up and it's it's all correct except the wheels are not in their own yellow boxes each wheel wheel one one wheel one two wheel one three through to wheel two three needs to have its own frame box as well as its object box if you set it up that way it'll work and the way to do that is just to ungroup or right click on each each wheel and select the grouping and select ungroup and then drag it from its frame yellow box and then drop it into its into its correct bogey exporting is very easy thanks to the export wizard that comes with 3d canvas pro all you do is is run that wizard under the uh, plugins menu and go through the options and name the project and the the project title and then you can have a description and some operating instructions click next then set up the wheel diameter have the bogey configuration is six six so each bogey has six wheels and then we have uh, a naming section where the the uh, plugin will ask you to name each part and every the, the uh, main part is the is where everything the base and then it'll ask you to click on the first bogey and then the first three wheels in order and then the second bogey and the th uh, last three wheels in order on that as you can see I'm doing it there it's uh, very very simple to use and if you have any difficulty with that there's as a guide to using that in the uh, MS in the uh, 3D canvas help and then we export and um, we should end up with a locomotive in the MSTS directory under trains to get it into the game <coughs> we have to set up a consist and so fire up the activity editor start a new activity and it doesn't matter what line it's on it's not going to make any difference because we're not going to actually make an activity we're just going to make a consist that can run within an activity and call it new activity and then just select um, edit the description and put anything in there it doesn't matter it's not going to get used you just have to have it though for it to run do the same for the briefing and then create a new player service and then that can be called anything you like and it's this service that we're going to make the consist for so this is just another I'm just pasting that name in there and then we cre uh, create a new consist give it the name that's going to appear in the in the menu and then this, this name here is the actual file name and then the display name here which will appear in the menu and we select the diesel type of locomotive and scroll down to find our locomotive and then you just drag that locomotive onto the bar below and save and exit and we're right to go exit out of the consist editor and out of the activity editor and then we fire up MSTS and have a look load up that locomotive see if it worked and it worked everything looks okay so far we'll just have to fire it up and I'm just concerned about the wheels I don't think they will work right the first time and I've had a very simple remedy for that the model itself looks fine just to mention again if you wanted those windows to be clearer you would just make them white instead of light blue that I used in the paint program just going to fire it up now and it has got that problem with the wheels that I suspected it's to do with when 
the wheels get grouped under the bogies, their axes sometimes get a bit out of whack. What we have to do is simply go back into the editor, into, into 3D Canvas, and click on each wheel individually and recenter position. Click that button on the object operations panel and the wheels will jump about all over the place. They will be in completely the wrong place. You just have to center them and this time when you position them, their position will be in relation to the bogey. The origin of the bogey, which you should also center using the center on centering group operation tool, the center of the bogey will be the center of the world as far as the wheels are concerned. So you can um, adjust them. The center wheels will be at a Z position of zero. The outer wheels will be positive and negative 2.01 meters and the you'll notice that the wheels will be sitting up with their bottom flush with the bottom of the bogies. This means the uh, the height of the bogies will be correct but the the wheels have to be given a negative 0.219 in on the Y axis so right click on each wheel and go into its properties and give it an entry of negative 0.219 on each one and you'll find they'll they'll spring back to the to the uh, ground exactly right the other thing that I haven't shown here but I had to do it to get the locomotive to sit right is to select the base and then using the shift operation tool lower the axis to the ground and you can do this with the side view um, an orthographic side view like from the right or the left and just bring it down as we did we've done that before when we made the outhouse and the other other uh, playing around with other things so that's just doing that again and that'll mean when you export it the train will sit the game engine will make sure the locomotive sits where it wants on the rails and here we go for our second attempt and everything works fine this time so that's that's uh, you could overcome that problem easily I'd suggest doing that before you export it just make sure the wheels are centered on their group positions and there you have it and I don't know if you can see that but they are rotating properly and everything works fine